Okay, what we're going to be doing is casting off my beautiful scarf. And my yarn is going to go to Quebec here. I am going to decrease each stitch. So I'm going to go in through this second stitch, and this is decreasing whether it's for a scarf, hat, shawl, mittens, doesn't matter. Anytime that you're making two stitches into one is a decrease. So I'm going to knit into both of those stitches. This is a regular knit, this is a regular knit, and what I'm doing is going through that back leg of both stitches. I'm going to pick up my yarn just like normal. I'm going to put a little bit more tension on my yarn, take the end of my right needle, put it on to the shaft of my left needle, kind of as a guide, and you can see that I'm pushing on that pretty hard. I'm going to slide that down the shaft of the needle, bringing the yarn with it so that I can bring that loop down as a knit stitch. I'm going to pop both of those stitches on, and because I'm casting off, I give myself a little bit of slack, and this stitch is going to go back on tip to tip the left-hand needle, just like that. So I'm going to come back through here, second stitch, come up through both stitches, grab my yarn, come down through those two stitches, cast off, I'm going to give you a slightly different perspective. So here I'm coming up through, actually down through these stitches, pick up the yarn, and I'm going to slide that needle tip along the shaft of the left needle, come off, and again because I'm casting off, I'm taking this stitch and putting back on so I have no stitches on my right needle. Do that a couple more times and I'll show you exactly what to do at the end. And I'm giving myself quite a bit of room in here because it's kind of tricky to come through more than one stitch. And I'm also giving myself a little bit of slack because as I'm coming off of that cast off, that stitch needs to come up through the two stitches and then also lay flat over the top of the cast off so I've got a couple more to go. Feel free to not split your yarn. And each time I knit two into one, I actually am just decreasing by one. So I need to decrease for every stitch that I've got on my project. I'm down to the last two stitches. And what I'm going to do is exactly the same thing. I'm going to knit those two together, just as so, and then to finish my project, I'm going to make this loop into something very, very large. I'm going to use a sharp pair of scissors or my knife, and cut off the yarn, take the end of my yarn, pop it through that loop and pull tight. Now, that's what I would do for my initial project. Once I was a more comfortable knitter, I would actually cut off about six or ten inches, possibly even more, and use that yarn to then sew this loop down so I don't have that pointy end at the end. But for my initial projects, I'm just going to pop this end right through the loop, pull tight, and I can glory in my wonderful project.